Hey, you know, those sunflower fields near Lawrence are the picture perfect destination again this Labor Day. But there may be some roadblocks again to get past for those photo ops. KCTV5's Abigail James explains new at four. Well, besides the blooming sunflowers, businesses here in Tonganoxie are preparing for a boom in visitors with their first annual sunflower stroll. Many plan to make their way to Grinner Farms to take in the beautiful sight of sunflowers. And down the road in Tonganoxie, manager of It's a Sweet Treat Bakery, Carly Erickson, is preparing for the influx of people. Well, we are baking our tails off and decorating as fast as we can. She says sunflower cookies are just one of the options on the menu. We just today baked about 100 dozen chocolate cupcakes, and we've already baked about 50 dozen cookies. And the sweet aroma of the bakery won't be the only thing luring visitors to the charming town. It's like the Grinters. We just want to bring people to town and not have to charge to have a good afternoon. In lieu of the sunflower stroll, businesses have painted their windows and sunflowers have been strewn about. There's even sidewalk chalk for kids and photo contests. We have a great craft fair. It's a pop-up craft fair. It's going to be at the old Ratliff Drugstore. He hopes the first year for the event will turn into something larger, like a festival in the future. And so far, they've received a lot of help to make it successful. Today, we've seen people from South Dakota, from Illinois. We've had them from Lewisburg, Topeka. And it's kind of fun to see everybody come and enjoy a beautiful day. Now, there's also a brochure that you can pick up at the Sunflower Farm that has a couple coupons that visitors can use here at some of the downtown businesses. Reporting in Tonganoxie, Abigail James, KCTV5 News.